Hello, this is Dora Tarver from e-projectmanagers.com and createandmanageschedules.com. Today I want to show you a quick technique where you'll be able to create a calendar with seven days as working days. Normally in project, a working week has five days, but you can actually modify that. So let's get started. Here we have an empty project schedule and I'm going to put in just some test tasks. Pretend this is your project plan and we have a few resources. Okay. Now normally let me just uh, select a task. Normally when you go to the tools menu and select uh, change working time, you'll, you'll see that the standard project calendar has five, uh, <clears throat> Monday through Friday, five days per week. But if you no longer wanted to have Saturday and Sunday, you would do the following. You can actually edit this calendar, the project standard calendar, to edit the um, project uh, standard project calendar, down here below in Project 2007, you see there's an Exceptions tab and a Work Weeks tab. If you select the Work Weeks tab, you'll see it says Default, Start NA, Finish NA, and there's a Details button that becomes Enabled. If you click on the Details button, you see that if I click on Monday, there is a you know, 8 to 5 p.m. Tuesday says the same, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But if I click on Sunday or Saturday, there's no time in here because what's happening is this is using the project default times for these days. So if you want to set, um, change any of the days to not to working days or non-working days, you could actually do that from here. So, for example, I could set Sunday to be um, 8 to, we'll, we'll give him a lunch break, so we'll say 8 till uh, 11 a.m. and then 12 p.m. till 5 p.m. Okay, um, and I'm also going to, so I have Sunday set to this. I'm going to click on Saturday and do the same thing. Here we go again, 8 a.m. And we'll make this. Eleven a.m. And then twelve p.m. to five p.m. Okay, so I have Sunday, Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as working days. Oops, I want to make this five. PM. There we go. Okay. So now, oops, let me make sure this also says 5 p.m. Hold on one second. Okay. All right. Now both Saturday and Sunday start at 8 a.m. and end at 5 p.m. And we have Monday through Friday that start at 8 a.m. and end at 5 p.m. as well. So now that we've set the details for the default, we can click on OK. And you can see that the gray columns that were here on the weekends are no longer gray, which means that the non-working uh, days are, are now working days. They all appear white because that's the default color here. Okay, So this is one technique you can use to give yourself a seven-day work week. Um, then once you've done this, uh, well, it's in your default calendar, so you can go ahead and use it. But let's say you want to keep your default calendar. Let's say you want to only assign a seven-day work week to specific resources. You can do that 
by creating a new calendar. And normally you just come into the Change Working Time dialog box, click on Create New Calendar, and name the calendar. I would name it something that you'd remember like uh, seven days per week. <clears throat> and uh, you can take it and you can make a copy of your standard calendar in order to create this calendar or you can create a new base calendar from scratch. So if you've already put company holidays in your standard calendar then you might want to use uh, the standard calendar to create your new calendar. So then you click on OK. <clears throat> Do you want to save changes made to the base calendar? Um, I'm clicking on yes, I click on OK, and um, when you go to the uh, resource sheet, one of the options by default, there's a lot of different columns that appear here, um, I'm going to go ahead and hide these for now, but one of the options that appears is the base calendar column. So if you have a resource that's working seven days a week, you can then so assign that resource to the seven days per week calendar. <clears throat> Pretending that we did not change our standard calendar, in our case we did because I was just demonstrating how you do that, but if your standard calendar had a five-day work week and your create created calendar has a seven-day work week, you could have resources who work a combination of both in your project plan. So there you have it. That's how you create uh, a seven-day work week within your calendar. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact me by opening a ticket at INeedSupportPlease.com and have an excellent day.